And as we come on the air tonight, an alarming trend is happening in our area. The coronavirus is running rampant through our community as cases keep rising in Mobile County. The Alabama Department of Public Health says the entire county is now considered very high risk. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski joins us now to break down the data. Laura. Greg and Kim, Dr. Randy Murphy says in the middle of June, Mobile County only had an average of about 40 new cases per day. And now they're seeing anywhere from 75 to 85 cases per day. Dr. Randy Murphy says just last week they saw more than 600 brand new cases of COVID-19 in Mobile County. And the majority of those new cases are in the 25 to 49 age range. So this was a 60% increase in cases over just the, pr the prior week. So you can see on this, um, this column chart with the number of cases that we are just seeing you know, an unprecedented rise in the number of cases. Murphy says she is extremely concerned by this data because even though more people are being tested, a higher percentage is coming back positive. The percent positive went up to over 20% again. That had not happened since April 12th. So we are in an enormously concerning time for, for me and the public health leaders around the state just at the sheer volume and the positive test results and the speed at which this very infectious virus is moving around our community. Dr. Richard Euler at Compass Urgent Care says his office is witnessing firsthand how the virus is moving through the community. It is the most dominant illness right now. We're having record numbers of people come in to get tested. I think most of what we're seeing is COVID. We're seeing a lot of sinus infections as well and some of the summer rashes, particularly staff but not really strep, not mono or anything like that, and really not seeing a lot of pneumonia. Dr. O says these are the symptoms they're seeing the most. A lot of them have a loss of sense of smell, sense of taste, flu-like symptoms, and often a little cough. Sometimes it's just sinus congestion as well. Dr. Murphy says they started seeing a huge spike in the number of cases after restrictions were lifted, and we'll probably see whether or not the mandatory mask ordinance helped in about two weeks.